Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about uh, static phase tolerance on differential pairs. Um, so we've got a differential pair here that's rooted throughout the board, and, and just by nature of the way that it's been rooted, potentially I could have a, a length difference between the two halves of the differential pair. So if we were to, uh, let's go into uh, general edit mode, and if we just hover over that, we'll tap through until we get to the net, make sure everything's selected. Once we get onto the net based object, you can kind of see I've got a one half of this length is uh, 26.4 millimeters and the other half is uh, 24.9. So I've got about kind of about half a millimeter of difference between the two halves of this the, the differential pair. So what I can do is I can set a ruling constraint manager. So if we launch constraint manager, we'll go to the electrical routing, the differential pairs, we'll expand the differential pairs, we'll find our differential pair here. We've got something called static phase. So in static phase, we'll set a value of, uh, I don't know, let's go and set 0.127 of a millimeter. So you can see I've actually got a difference here. I need to add a little bit of margin, about 0.36 margin to get this, this back in. So obviously then get a differential pair on the half that's that's causing the, that's the good half. So I would then need to add length to this, this half here. So depending on now the license level that we have, gives me the different options. So if I was to use an Allegro based license, I could use the roots phase tune option. We can look at our options. We can specify the size of the bump that we need to do. Um, and then I click on the trace, the DRC dis disappears. And that would then correct it. If we go to change editor, we'll drop down to an all cap professional based license. The, the DRC is still valid, um, but the way I would add the bump is now using the delay tune command. So I can pick delay tune, pick the size of the trace that I want. In this mode, I'm obviously using single trace mode. So right click single trace mode, I get a heads up display and I can then work my way along to add the size of the bum that we need. That then, then corrects the issue. We'll then cancel that. If we then drop down to an AllCAD standard license, what we'll do is we'll route in a small bump. And then using the slide command, what I can see is I get the, the, the stipple pattern in between. So the stipple pattern show me when I'm too short, I'm now meeting the constraint, it's too long. And if once we complete, if we go to constraint manager and we analyze the net, you can see we're actually meeting the constraint. 